What's up people? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. It's me Sue Henry back again with a new video and in today's video guys you are going to be doing a pantry cleaning and organization. If you're new here please consider subscribing and if you're a returning subscriber you guys you are always my best friend. Remember to like share and comment and guys we are going to be taking down our items on the top shelf so that it can be cleaned. I'll first clean it with water and soap because this shelf is so dusty i rarely visit this place so <laughs> you can imagine how dusty it is so i first clean it with water and soap and then use the magni to disinfect and clean again Also take down the items on the middle shelf so that I can be able to clean it and disinfect it and the same will also happen to the lower shelf I am really trying to do an extreme cleaning because guys it's been long since I did a cleaning to this pantry so I feel it's so dusty and it needs the cleaning same thing will apply to the lower shelf i'll clean it with the magni cleaner here i'm having a snack this is a fruit because this cleaning job is no joke My magni finished and now it's time to use the one that I had bought on offer and guys I just realized I wouldn't have transferred the magni because the bottles were of the same size but it's okay now that I did it I would have only exchanged the sprayer. Once I'm done cleaning and disinfecting the shelves, I'm going to give them a few minutes to dry up and then come back with pledge, the one that I use for my furnitures. I'm going to spray it on the shelves to give the shelves a good look and also maintain the shelves in good condition. So now the pantry is clean, I'm going to be returning everything to where it's supposed to be. I'm going to start with my cleaning detergent. So I had these two trays where I could put my detergent but once I arranged them they were able to fit in one so I'll use the other car, car basket for something else. The other items that will go on the topmost shelf is this cooler box. Actually the things that I'm going to put on this very topmost shelf are the ones that I rarely use. For the middle shelf and the lower shelf I'm going to be using a drawer liner because this is where I put most of my food items. I got this drawer liner at 850 Kenya shillings and it's of good size because it's going to fit what I wanted and the places that I wanted to use it for. Please guys bear with me because the lighting in this place is not the best. There is times that I'm having a dim light and there's, there is times that I'm having a good light. So tell me you're no good I'm brushing away to you The weight of you of my shoulder One advantage with this drawer liner is that in case of anything spills on it you can easily wipe it off because it's waterproof. And this is the outcome after I placed the drawer liner on the pantry shelves. It looks so good. I'm in love with what I'm seeing. Yeah. 
it's time now to put the food items on their respective jars i'm going to be starting with my maize flour this is the jar for my maize flour and i will also be labeling the jars that are not labeled and guys this is for my rice Guys, do you remember these cups? This cup I was given by my mom and I use it to measure my rice when cooking. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't wanna waste what's left. I have my spaghetti jar where I'm going to put all my spaghetti. This jar fits in very well three packets of 400 gram spaghetti and still have a space for more. Guys, do you have kitchen packs? For me, I usually have the kitchen packs that I usually put on items that I've opened like this sugar to prevent anything from getting inside the food item because sometimes you see I'm lazy to put the items to their respective jars. So before I put them in their respective jars, the packs usually work for me. Here are my biscuits that I'm going to be changing these jars which were used to be my biscuit jars before and I'll be using this plastic jar. I got these stickers from Kilimall a while ago. This is what I usually use to label my jar so I just label that and stick on the jar to indicate what the jar is for. And guys, this is coffee. Um, you see the pegs are still working for me. And guys, I'm going to use the jar that was previously used for biscuits. And one thing that you should know is when you try to clean off the writings on these labels, they can't come off. I've tried to clean my previously labeled jars and the writings are not coming off. So I think they are the best when it comes to labeling your jars yourself at home it's a lot because we love coffee and with the coffee maker we always love making coffee i will use this other jar for my tea bags i'm just labeling it for that This is the corner that I usually use for my territories. Here I'm placing the toiletries in place including my washing powder. And guys, I have this storage basket, a storage box I mean, where I usually put my extra food items like now the rice, the tea bags, the Weetabix and everything that is extra. I did not place these oils at the same place because one is in use and the other one is not yet opened. So I had to put them separately so that I can be able to differentiate which one is in use and which one is not yet in use. In this other small storage box, it's where I usually put my sachet items 
like the tomato paste and the milo and everything such it goes in here in this car box i never fail to put some few sachets of salt because guys who are kinaumana kinaumana and you forget to buy salt and this can always save you a lot when you develop the habit of getting away or getting rid of the papers that comes with the shopping or the food items you usually get to find that your pantry is always organized and very clean because you are able to know what is where and what is what you are also able to tell when something is almost finished and guys i would advise you to always always organize your pantries because in this way you won't ever find that something got finished and you are not aware thank me later actually you don't have to use the glass jars you can always reuse your jars at home always keep the jars and in case that you need the pantry jars kamokonji is there for you I've been having this bamboo tray which I've been planning to use it for my toiletries but when I placed my toiletries in there it turned out to be very small so I thought maybe I would use it for my other pantry items and when I placed it to the other same tray it turned out so congested and I had to remove it and forget about it and guys maybe a piece of advice a piece of nutritional advice this is the best salt for you because it prevents you from hypertension that's the high blood pressure these two uteos that i was gifted during my wedding i'm just going to use it to use them to decorate my pantry let's get under the pantry imagine guys this carton is full of shopping bags let me clean the space and try to organize it here are my fruits that i had cleaned earlier it's time now to place them to where they are supposed to be I'm just putting a table mat inside here to avoid the onion leaves from falling on the floor. And then wipe off my fruits and place them where they're supposed to be. No, I don't want no rest. Echoing around these walls, fighting to I will then fold all these shopping bags and see what I can achieve once I try to arrange them in a better place. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways. Oh, is this not well done? I truly love the outcome. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways. Before the cleaning and the organization, the pantry was in a real mess. This is how it looked before. Guys, just look at this mess. And guys, this is how the pantry looks now. It's so super organized. I love it. I love how it looks. It's easy to get something from the pantry. And I hope it's insightful for you to organize your pantry area so that it can be easily accessible when you are at home and when you are making your meals. See?
here are my shopping bags and even the waste bags and guys i'm truly in love with how this turned out because they are not in a box and they are all well organized and then on the floor guys i had two extra mats that i placed on the floor and it made it even look better and i'm happy with what i did for my pantry and guys we have come to the end of the video i hope you guys have enjoyed the video give this video a thumbs up comment and share to your friends and until the next video bye bye